Hi everyone. <laughs> I was saving I that saw one. That coming. I was saving that one just for when you start the play <laughs> button. You started with a banger right there. You all yeah. got to see Phoebe sneeze and she didn't even cover her mouth, so it's screenshot worthy. No, you saw me save that one up. I charged that one up for you guys. You did. How all are you the doing? sneeze fetishes are gonna come out here just to catch that moment. They are, and <laughs> me included, because I'm definitely screenshotting that afterwards. Sus. Sus? Is yes. it weird if it's your sister? Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of freaky, and I'm not into it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. Sorry, not sorry. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm so tired. Yeah, me too. I'm ready to sleep. Honestly, I'm like, after this, I want to sleep so bad, but the grind never stops. <laughs> Gotta do some work. But uh, yeah, hopefully the, the topic of this week's book is going to be somewhat interesting to you. It's mm -hmm. different from what we did in the past. Definitely not textbooky. Definitely not a lesson. And more of a discussion, but not a discussion like we are used to. It's about dating. Why? What the do you mean, why? Dating. What? Why is it about dating? Oh, is it because the dating? title of... What? It's a book you read about dating. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were just going to talk about your personal experience. I was like... Oh my god, no. <laughs> Did you forget what the, the theme of this podcast is? We talk about books. I didn't, I didn't forget. I just thought you were having a moment. And I was going to be like, let's not do the podcast. No. Let's I just swear, leave. I swear I'm not having a mental breakdown. I swear I'm still rational and I'm still here. Okay. Okay. I'm not there yet. Okay. So the now, book that yes. Enlighten me. What is yes. this book called? Who is it from? This book is called Why Men Love Bitches. Okay. Um, now we're canceled. Keep going. We're canceled because I quoted what the name of the book is. Yeah. It, it also it's uh, referred to, you know, as the B word. Yeah. That's why we're canceled. You know what's funny? When uh, the, I think the first uh, page of this book literally has... Well, I don't know why I'm choking there. Literally has a disclaimer mm -hmm. on why the author chose to say bitches instead oh, yeah? of... Oh, what, yeah? What's the disclaimer? Tell me so that everybody here isn't offended anymore. So, so our viewers what's... aren't offended. This is what the author argues. I think it's a she. I forget if it's a man or a woman who wrote this. Let me just fact check really quick. Sherry Argov is a woman. Okay, a woman. So All right. Sherry decided to use the word bitches in this word uh, in this uh, book because she's trying to say, she, like, uh, the the theme of this book is distinguishing between a nice girl and a bitch, and. What she's trying to argue in this book, obviously, is that men love bitches. So girls that are, you know, typically more, uh, I guess, have more male energy. You know how there's this, like, thing going on where they talk about, like, feminine energy and male energy? And it has nothing to do with gender. It's just, like, I don't know. I remember reading that somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, there's this thing going on about male and female energy. and what she's trying to say in this book is that men typically like women who are more like confident, more sure of themselves, and they are called bitches, according to this author, according to Sherry. Yeah, that's giving me a lot of red flags, and I don't like that. Yeah, so you see, that's the thing. That's the reason why I decided I like to talk about this book today, because this is a book I read, and it made me so mad to read. Like, I physically... Oh, really? I, I just I, don't like the way that she words it. Like, you know, I personally don't like being called a bitch. I hate when people say, like, even if it's, like, a joke or things like that, the only person that I mind it, I think, the least is when Richard says it. Because I know that it's not, like, a pejorative, you know, term, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and, and and even Jason too like I'm like kind of so so on it obviously I know that it's like a habit that's built into because we used to call each other that but like it's still something that I don't appreciate really mm-hmm. and so the fact that the title of this book is why men love bitches and then she tries to validate the term bitches in this context is just very like it's a hot take it's, it's a, hot a take. really hot take that I'm like hey yo yeah I, and then she's trying to explain well bitches is actually a specific group of people yeah that just sounds worse I that know. just sounds way worse it's right? like yeah it's specific women so you're telling me a man can't be a bitch mm-hmm you know, like, it, it's just screaming red flags just off the title and the first page. Exactly. I'm excited to see how terrible this book is. Oh, it gets worse. It gets way worse. The so is it just, I like, a it, misogynistic book? A hundred percent. Oh, which is and like it's made inc- by a woman. Yes, that's the most frustrating part. It's that it's written by a woman who, this is how she justifies her book. She said that she conducted a study And I'm pretty sure she sampled, I don't know how many guys, but she was asking guys on, you know, what their ideal woman is and not in terms of like physical traits or things like that, just like what they would have, you know, values or, you know, characteristics, things like that. And she tries justifying this book based off whatever sample size she had and tries to generalize it and say, men love these types of women Mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i just i absolutely hate that you know especially with you know how recently um there's you know people like andrew tate and just guys that are extremely misogynistic and sexist just going on the internet talking about their experiences dating and you know toxic masculinity pretty much yeah and the fact that this book is written by a woman and kind of just reinforces that pressure and that women are almost like meant our purpose is to serve a guy. I yeah. absolutely hated it. I hated it. You know, I hated that this book was written, particularly that it was written, written by a woman. I just, yeah. it rubbed me the wrong way. Absolutely hated it. Such an era where it's like we need women to support each other and then we have this hot take from a woman towards women and it's just kind of like okay yeah we don't really need that attitude right now you know exactly is this a newer book that's what i was gonna say so benefit of the doubt this book was written was published in 2002 and we've come a long way since 2002 so i will give benefit of the doubt i don't know what the author's values are currently and if she still is like that but what's crazy to me is that this was published in 2002 and it was a bestseller so obviously whatever words she had resonated with people and the only reason why I took up this book and decided to read it despite you know my own bias is because I saw this book popping off on tiktok Okay. It was popping off. And the fact that it was a bestseller back in the early 2000s, and now a lot of people are talking about it on TikTok and praising this book. They're not canceling it. You know, I just had to see what the hell am I missing out? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I read it and absolutely hated it. It took me almost three weeks. Well, I can't talk. Three weeks to read because I just dreaded this book so much. I mean, I feel like it's kind of understandably so, right? Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't understand. I'm, I'm still trying to understand why people would like praise this book, you know, just the title, like I said, and the first, you know, opening page, the introduction of why she said bitches in the context just doesn't feel like valid and i understand okay yeah it's 2002 but i feel like to be fair in 2002 we were a lot more conservative so i Mm -hmm. feel like it shouldn't have been been taken like so well you know what i mean no i don't i don't understand what you're saying okay what i'm 
so hi guys this is future editor holly i'm just listening to the podcast again and i'm realizing phoebe just goes on an intense tangent and doesn't really end up going anywhere with what she had to say either so i'm just gonna cut it out and i'm here to interrupt your i don't know listening experience to tell you i'm pulling a phoebe now okay i'm going back to the episode now bye and now yeah here we are back to the book we are um let's go back to uh the author's intentions with using the word bitches in this uh, book and i'm going to read a passage literally first page of the book it's in the introduction Mm -hmm. this is not new stuff um and this is how she justifies her book and the word bitches so and i quote why men love bitches is a relationship guide for women who are too nice The word bitch in the title does not take itself too seriously. I'm using the word in a tongue-in-cheek way representative of the humorous tone of this book. The title and the content address what many women think but don't say. Every woman has felt embarrassed by appearing too needy with a man. Every woman has had a man pursue her only to lose interest the minute she gave in. Every woman knows what it feels like to be taken for granted these problems are common to most women, married and single alike, end quote. I read this and was so frustrated. Keep going. No, no, no. That's that's the only that's passage the- I wanted to read because it gives you a little taste of what pretty much this whole book is. Just from that, you understand what the intentions of the book was, why she uses the word bitches, and the whole purpose of this book, you know. I, 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 now that you read the whole thing, I understand more why she's saying she used that terminology, right? Mm-hmm. Does that mean I appreciate it more, or I feel less resentment towards it? Not really. Like I understand, you know. Okay, you're just trying to say that, um men kind of prefer the thrill of the hunt and here's why know what i mean like where they like girls that push them back or or girls that you know don't hang on to them too much you know they like colder girls but it's just kind of like it just feels wrong i guess no my problem with this book is that it it reinforces gender roles Uh, you know like why is it that she says every woman has felt X, Y, Z because of a man? Why? You know, if the purpose of this book was to empower women in the dating scene, I don't think she needs to tie it with male validation and yeah. reinforce gender roles. That's my problem with this book. I wish that the book was more focused on self-development for women and like a consequence is it it uh, uh, whoa sorry a consequence of having more you know confidence or whatever is you might find a partner mm, yeah i think it, this- it shouldn't be your value is fully dedicated to whether you have a man yeah that just rubs me the wrong way i absolutely it gives me the ick i'm grossed out when i read that yeah you know i hate I it think- I think it's funny because this kind of shows how our personalities are where you're a lot more independent in a sense. Yeah. And you don't want to rely like on a guy and things like that. So that's what you got offended about and how I'm a lot more on the self-conscious side. And I don't want to be like, I don't like feeling undervalued or have my, you know, my self-esteem, you know, like poked at. Right. Yeah. So it's like we we nitpick the part that we hated the most, and you're like, true. no, this this pissed me off, and then and then it's just like to you, you're like, no, this pissed me off, and I'm like, I see where you're coming from, and and I understand it's it's really bad, but it's funny that we just completely looked at two different things because it's our own like values and our own like yeah, it, it's That's part of who very, we are. 
That's a, such an interesting point that you said that because I didn't think of how I, I for some reason I know this is incredibly ignorant, but for some reason I read this book and thought everyone would be in the same page as me. But then we just talked about it and you and I read the same thing, but we're bothered by two different two things. Two different things. Yeah. And but I don't know. But it's definitely like a thing of like personality and values and stuff. Yeah, like that. exactly. Yeah. Personality and values. It's just you're not as self-conscious as I would be and I'm not as independent as you would be. So it's just some things we kind of I think it's also just the fact that um a lot of times I feel like women in general are suppressed and then it's just it, it it feels like no i forgot where i was going again you have to stop going on tangents and not i wasn't where you're no, going no i was it. gonna you go on a to tangent stop. i was gonna go on a tangent and then <laughs> i forgot my <sighs> you have to stop because otherwise this whole podcast will literally be black screens every time you try to say something and me having to edit it and say phoebe said some dumb shit again <laughs> It's it gonna wasn't be gonna that. be dumb. It wasn't gonna be dumb. It's I know, no, no. I'm just roasting you. I know it won't be dumb, but it'll just be like Phoebe not being able to express herself, but was very insightful, but just couldn't express what she was trying to say. <laughs> you know, something like that. Okay, it's just I see now. I even forgot what I was talking about. Like completely. Whatever. Move okay. forward. It I'll is, continue. I, if ever it comes to you, like just interrupt me. Okay. Yeah. So. This is the other thing that I hated about this book. So, you know, first off, it starts off by justifying bitches, reinforcing gender roles, doing putting women's value fully on whether they're in a, re- a relationship or not. And if the relationship is doing well or not, and if it's not doing well, then you're a shit person and that you should be working on pleasing a guy. You know, the book starts like that. So already I'm very much frustrated and i don't like this book now this is like page five or something crazy like that Uh and then i realized this book is divided by attraction principles so she starts off on the beginning so how do you get a guy what type of person is a bitch and a nice girl and comparing a nice girl versus a bitch this is something else i don't like Oh, I'm going to pop off. What's wrong with being a nice girl and what's wrong with being a bitch? I don't Mm -hmm. think there's anything wrong with being a nice girl. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a question of, you know, whether you bend over backwards or you lose self-respect for yourself. It has nothing to do with whether you're a kind person or you're more considerate or you're more, I don't know, like emotional, whatever. All these characteristics, by the way, are not what I define as a nice girl this is what the author uses to define a nice girl you know and I just hate that she makes two different types of women a nice girl versus a bitch and compete against each other for male validation I absolutely hate that it gives me the ick yeah I hate that you know so anyways that was a little tangent but at least you finished it I finished it, yeah, because I could go on for hours. This book was no, shit. No, I just I finished it because I, I didn't finish it. <laughs> yeah, you never finish it. You'll start, and I'll be like, mm, interesting, where are you going with this? And then you're like, I don't even remember anymore. And I'm like, Yay. great. Nice essay, Phoebe. Thank you. So has it come back to you yet, or do I continue? No, 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 no. You can keep going. I'm, I, I'm not going to remember. I think I'm just listening. Okay. So I was talking about attraction principles. So these are almost like rules that a woman should follow according to the author in order to get a guy. And not just get a guy, like get into a long lasting relationship and happy relationship. Because don't forget, girlies, you're not happy unless you please your guy. (laughs) Okay, that was a side. (laughs) I'm mad, clearly. Unless you cook, you clean, you take care of the children, you... Give him a blowjob whenever he needs, you yeah. know? Yeah. Not like you got to carry his baby nine months inside of you anyways. Mm-hmm. So anyways, you have these attraction principles to follow. And I'll start with the first one, okay? Some of them, not going to lie, I agree with. But that's because it has nothing to do with gender. And I'll read you the first one that kind of threw me off because already – 
I was starting this book and I was like, I have the ick. I hate this book. Don't like it. Then I read this principle and I'm like, you know what? I kind of agree with it. So this is what she says. First attraction principle, anything a person chases in life runs away. I agree with that. You know, like if you feel like you have to chase happiness, chase love, chase whatever external factor to make you happy, it's never going to work. It comes with within, right? That's my values. That's what I believe. Yeah, see, I'm like kind of, hmm. Mm. What's the tea? What are you thinking? I mean, it's just I feel like, you know, people chase after their dreams, right? It doesn't mean they don't get achieved. That's not the case, right? It's just I feel like most people or a lot of people try to chase for their dreams and they reach it eventually. Sure, there's going to be ups and downs on the road, but you make it there step by step. Obviously, Mm -hmm. there's more unfortunate people that don't necessarily get to the end point, like your beliefs, but I feel like there are a lot of people that chase their dreams and they succeed after a lot of hard work time. It rewards them in the end. That's a good point. You know, I like that. That's a very good point. I didn't think of it that way. See, that's fun. I'm happy you you pointed that out because it's true. I don't know why I'm so pessimistic. Probably because I'm biased. <laughs> I probably because I'm biased, probably, honestly. You were probably in a bad mood when you started reading it. And then yeah. you said that and you are like, you know what? This selfish, ignorant woman actually might have a point yeah I, I i don't know what i was thinking it's a mix of probably after work i'm tired and i know mm-hmm. my homework is to finish this book for the podcast and i'm just grumpy and i'm stuck reading a book i hate you know whatever whatever it is me maybe it's even me just trying to give benefit of the doubt but whatever uh-huh. not gonna lie some of the principles i remember reading and i was like oh okay she's kind of got a point there and then she'll say the most sexist misogynistic like attraction principle ever and then it puts me back in that mood where i'm like this gives me the ick i absolutely hate this This, book yeah 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 yeah. you know um so yeah the way that this book is divided is on um every chapter is divided in like a kind of a stage that a woman would go through um during dating so it starts off with how you're single you meet a guy, how do you grab his attention? How do you go on dates with him? How should you conduct yourself in dates? The Aww. difference between a bitch and a nice girl. And I swear to God, she has literally a table in this book that compares, that puts a nice girl and a bitch side to side and explains how why a nice girl will lose. Like I have one right here. I'll read it to you, okay? This is okay. this is so funny. So it's a table that says one side. I am not enough versus the other side. I'm enough. Take it or leave it. So it's the difference between nice girl because a nice girl is someone who doesn't think they're enough, by the way, in case you didn't know. If you're a nice girl. You can't be a nice girl and have self-confidence. Yeah, you can't. Okay. That doesn't exist. There's no such thing, by the way. So this is what she says, okay? In the I am not enough table section. And I quote, She calls him often and says, please return my call. She is on call like a rookie rookie flight attendant. She makes it obvious a relationship is her goal before she knows much about him. When he does call her, she is mad he didn't call sooner. She often drives. Hello? What's wrong with driving? Okay, anyways. What's wrong with driving? What's wrong with driving? What's wrong with asking your husband or partner you know it, to, to just pick up the phone yeah like it, it's it could be something important can exactly. you please pick up the phone it and answering the phone when they call you back is that wrong exactly no, or it, oh my god look at this one she talks about having babies what's wrong with having children why is that a bad thing and why is it that only nice girls would talk about having babies because if you're a bitch, you don't want babies. Like it, that's the fact. That's facts, by the way. In case you didn't know, if you're considered a bitch based off this author, you don't want babies. Only nice girls want babies. I think it's also important, though, in a relationship, to be able to be open and talk. A hundred percent. I want kids because it doesn't mean the other person wants kids, and that's exactly. okay. You know, you guys just gotta come to a conclusion together and work on it. You know. Exactly. Not going to lie, like that's probably one of the first questions that I'll ask someone that I'm seeing. 
Yeah, right? It's not because well, I like, want kids long now. Term, long term, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to see, am I going to waste my time with someone who doesn't share the same goals as me? No. You know, if I know I want children, I'm not going to go on a date with some guy who knows for a fact that he doesn't want kids because that's just yeah. going to end up, you know, complicating the, the relationship argument. down the road. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, what the hell is wrong with this book? Anyway, so that's the nice girl section. Let me read you the bad bitch energy, you know, the man eater energy side of the Gaslight, table. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl, girl boss. boss. Yeah. Let me read this. And I quote, she gets back to him when she's free. She sees him when it is convenient for her. She goes out to have fun and doesn't make promises to a virtual stranger. When he calls her, he is curious where she is and why she's not there. He'll pick her up or happily get out, go out of his way. He has no clue where the relationship is going and she leaves it like that. She can't remember his last name. What? What? <laughs> what? I'm going to marry this man. I don't even know his last name though. I don't know his last name. I'm going to be taking up his last name, but I don't know his last name. Yeah. Like, I, basically, I don't even know my last name. I don't even know it. Quirky, yeah. quirky. Quirky, I'm a bad bitch. What's your last name again? Can't remember. That's bad. I mean, like, you know what I will say is I feel like I partially understand just because back in 2002, I feel like there was a lot of the personality, the type that you're reading right now that she created, right? This quote-unquote bitch was normalized back in the early 2000s i feel yeah definitely with mean girls or uh, what is it the playboy house movie bunny yeah or whatever like i feel like there was a lot of movies where they made it so that women would be these kind of like yeah i know i know yeah i i don't know how to like describe it but it's just they gave them such a quote unquote rude personality type I guess. Or that this... or just like movies would just reinforce um yeah. women's need for male validation and that your yeah. worth was tied to whether a guy wants to date you, wants to marry you, wants whatever from you. That was the type of movie that we kind of watched and grew up watching. Whereas yeah. nowadays it's a lot different. It's still present. Let's be real here. It's still present, but we're a lot more aware of why that way of thinking is wrong. It's flawed, yeah. Also, very focused on gender roles and gender being only male or female. So that's another point to to think about. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so you could see, you you can understand why I'm so frustrated when I read this book because it just, it gives me the ick how it makes two different types of women fight for male attention. Yeah. And Which even, one is better to yeah, grab yeah. male attention? And it's like, yes. that's not my goal. I'm trying to be happy with myself. And I want to find somebody who loves me for who I am. Mm-hmm. You know, in a relationship, sure, you should be willing to make changes here and there. But mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that you have to change your entire, like, personality or who you are your being right yeah so it just feels very wrong to be like everyone should basically be like this if they want to get a husband mm-hmm. that loves them you know yeah it's just like eh. i know i know it it, it, it frustrates me and yeah. this is only at the beginning stage by the way like this little thing that i was like you know the table that i am enough versus i am not enough that's just at the beginning stage of dating. She goes on and talks about later on, like what happens when you're in a committed relationship and like your guy is slacking. For example, I remember there was something I read. I wouldn't be able to quote it because I forget what page it's on. But it was like a scene where, um, like picture this. You come back from work, you're tired, and your boyfriend, your your husband, whoever, your partner – is laying on the couch wa- watching a sexy ass basketball game with the boys and he asks what's for dinner like you know a t- very typical very you know gender role 
like focus type of scene because women are meant to cook and men are meant to enjoy life and be served by women. You know, and I just hated that. I hated reading that. It get, it gives me the ick. I'm, yeah. I'm grossed out when I read things like that. Um, and she kind of tries to give you advice and she almost like shames you when you're in that position. You know, regardless of if it's a man or a woman or whoever, if you're in a position where your partner is being served by you, she shames you for it, the author. Which, but then isn't she saying that men should be the servant of these women that she's labeling, right? Like, oh, as a woman, you should never pick up the phone or like, you should do this. So as in, shouldn't he be chasing after you? She tries to say that, yes, a man should be chasing you. But I think what she's really trying to say, and I hope she's trying to say that, is you have enough self-respect to not be taking an taken advantage of by someone else and I hope that's what she was trying to convey because I hope like I I wish that for everyone you know like you don't want to end up being taken advantage of by someone yeah. you care about because it only affects your self-esteem and you know your self-worth and blah 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 and I hope she was trying to say that but the fact that she instead of says things to reinforce self-worth self-esteem confidence and things like that to not be put in a position where you're taken advantage of she tries to tell you things like oh it's because you call him too much you text him too much you answer the phone too quickly blah 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 when that's not the issue here you know yeah so that's what gives me the ick with this book. I just absolutely hated reading every single page of it. It was gross. It was disgusting. You know what I, I think is funny? What? She has like a double-edged sword going on here. Not double-edged sword, but she's got basic, she's double-wielding. Here you go. Mixed signals, right? No, no, no. She's double-wielding the swords as in she's saying things like women should be like this. But then she's also not shy to be like, hey... But men should also be like this. You're a man. You should be like, you know, because she, she said things like, oh, yeah, expect him to be the breadwinner. And if he isn't, then he's doing poorly or whatever, whatever, like you were mentioning earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it just feels like, oh, so you're not only, you know, saying that women should act in a specific way, like reinforcing that gender role, but you're also going out of your way to yes. reinforce the other gender role yes. of how males should be acting yes. right and if they yes. aren't like that then does that mean something is wrong with them you know you yes. don't necessarily explain it in the book yes. what happens if they're not like that what do i do find a different man he's the wrong man he's 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 broken he's, yeah like that's yeah, a it's just... very valid point very very valid it's true not only does that's a very good point too because i'm so focused on I don't know. I think because as a woman of myself, okay, I don't know. I just hated how hard she was on me reading this that I forgot about men. I forgot men existed. Isn't that crazy? Women. I'm always joking. I'm kidding here. No. I love how you just go quiet. You're like, there's no way Holly said that. No, the reason I went quiet is just the way you started talking about, like, oh, like, what? I'm, like, so fucking... Um, and you're doing all this shy act, and I was just cringing so hard <laughs> that I was just like, fuck, I can't even look up, dude. <laughs> like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Go back to watching Ricky make Cotton Candy. I think it'll oh, help he's, you out. He's finished. Do you want to see? Yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah. keep talking, though. I'll just send you the picture. Yeah, okay. Um... You know, that's a good point, though, that you brought up. Like, to be fair, shame on me for not thinking about men. Shame on me. Ew. Yes. I feel like we don't talk about men's feelings enough. And that's true, though. That's true. That is that's true. That's true. Though. Like, I, 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 yeah. No, you don't hate to bring it up. It's very true. It's yeah. true. Well, I just wanted to say, like, I hate to be that guy, you know, that, like, probably, like, I guess. I don't know. Just, I feel like. A lot of people hate when people bring up 
quote unquote problems in today's society, right? Where people will be like, oh, you're a snowflake for that. But I don't feel like it's always being a snowflake. You know, there's a difference between being like sensitive about a topic and just being like, hey, but are you aware of it? You should be aware of it. You know, you should try paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was trying to apologize. I guess it's a habit now and it shouldn't be. I should say, frick you, know you haters. You know Did what? you hear about this? <laughs> you know what? You sound like a nice girl. And according oh. to Sherry, you're not getting a man. <laughs> well, you sound like a... <laughs> <laughs> and according to Sherry, you should be getting a man. <laughs> but you ain't got no. <laughs> you know what? I, I keep forgetting about men. I think that's my problem. I forget yeah. men exist. Is yeah, what's a man? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that too. Maybe that's why I'm so, like, sensitive to this book. Because, I mean, not to blow smoke up my own ass, okay? <laughs> but I'm definitely more of a bitch and definitely not a nice girl. And yet, I'm supposed to be getting men. And there's no one. <laughs> Success with the nice girl. So I'm definitely the nice girl, I guess. Kind of gross. No, what the Ew. Are you calling me a bitch? <laughs> Yeah, and you're a bitch. Isn't that crazy? You're a bitch, and I'm a nice girl. That's not right. That's not right. This book is wrong. <laughs> this book should burn in a ditch. Like, I don't care. I would not be mad if this book was just deleted off the fi like off this planet. It's just such a well, terrible book. The only book. reason why I want it to be deleted is just because it called me a bitch. Oh, okay. So this is about yeah. you. Like This is about me. This is about the world you. evolves around me right but right that's true because you're a bitch it does it's true yeah. it's true <laughs> <laughs> according to the book of course according, according to the, to book. the book not this that you're wanting not getting likes, okay yeah. not me calling you a bitch and actually meaning it hmm. oh my god stop that i hate that this is as bad as your airplanes my singing. airplanes what are you talking about yeah airplanes the song Oh, wish. Disgusting, dude. Ah, it gives me like the shivers. You know what I mean? It feels like my body's just like. Ah. I know exactly what you mean. That's how I felt the whole time, having to read three hundred pages worth of this author. Three hundred pages. She 300. took a shit down. Like she, she took a shit down. Genders, throats, that badly. Three hundred pages. Three hundred pages. Of just her telling me, telling I'm everyone ha really why we're shit, and that I'm you should be a, a really bitch. hard time because we were talking about gender roles, right? But now we have a lot more genders. Mm -hmm. So is it just do I label it just as genders now, or is that factually incorrect? I don't know. Um, according to Sherry, there's only two genders, and it's men and bitches. Okay. <laughs> well, the reason why. It was asking is because when people say they are they them, like their labels, their their. Oh, I was are full on them. kidding. Like I. Oh no! Disclaimer. I know! No! 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 Oh. I know! I know! I know! But it's just the reason why I was saying that in general is because I was thinking to myself, uh huh. Now, saying that you associate as they them mm -hmm. is that considered a gender class of its own? Like, is that that's the non-binary one, right? Yeah. But now there's a bunch of other pronouns as well is that uh -huh. all considered nine binary or does that have its own thing and are they considered like specifically you know there's this whole thing of i don't know i'm not trying to offend anybody i <laughs> and now you're this? i'm just you saying again, like, where i'm like where are you going with this no the reason i'm just saying it is because i mentioned genders earlier and then i yeah. was like yeah is is that inclusive or is that not exclusive like inclusive am i excluding certain categories in particular that's why i was asking where okay, i well, wasn't sure what i wanted to, like my point was about gender roles is that this book is excluding yeah. literally everyone except and men it's just and women saying, that's like, my point males and females should act like this yes right? particularly I, women though particularly women Mm -hmm. You know, don't forget this book is on why men love bitches. That implies yeah. if men don't love you, you're not shit and you're a nice girl, you know. So 
that that was what gives me the ick in this book. It's exclusive. It's incredibly ignorant. It's, um, you know, it's just disgusting. It gives me the ick. I absolutely hated this book. Uh, I don't recommend it. I don't understand why people are reading this and find empowerment in it. I was hoping low key that by talking about it with you, yeah. maybe you would give me a fresh perspective. But this book was just absolutely disgusting and ignorant on every single aspect. You know, the thing that, you know how you said it was blowing up on TikTok? Yeah. I feel like because there are some people, yes, that truly believe that men and women should act like this. Yeah. You know, it's like the whole Andrew Tate thing where, like, people genuinely believe his opinion, right? Where it's just, or it's just some women wish that the times were kind of like the older days where they don't have to work necessarily, right? They could just kind of do whatever. But then I think there's also the realization that, like, they don't have where it's, hey, but that also means you don't have rights. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't consider thinking about voting or things like that. You know, you you probably can't even go out without asking your partner type of things, right? Where your job, your responsibilities is to be at home, to be a housewife in that case. So, yeah, I feel like it's just maybe they get princess vibes from it. And that's why they support it more. But I don't know. I have no clue. But it's a, it's a good point. I was thinking the same thing, though, about Andrew Tate thing. Yeah. I know that there's a huge surge of guys just praising Andrew Tate. And I'm guessing that our equivalent of Andrew Tate for women is why men love bitches. And this is for, you know, people who identify as men and women. Like, I'm, yeah. you know. This is for the... The Cis female and male genders out there. Which, that are the only two genders mentioned in this book. Oh, which, by the way, the genders, in case you didn't grasp that from the book, according to Sherry, is men and bitches. And that's it. <laughs> nothing <laughs> else. There's nothing else. So, it's, oh, sorry, my fault for saying women. I meant bitches. I don't make the rules here. Sherry does. And she says you're either a man, a men, a men, men. or bitches. Amen not a bitch. <laughs> bitches and men. Not a man, men. But yeah, okay. again, then again, like benefit of doubt, we don't know how Sherry is now. You know, we didn't conduct any research on it. Maybe it's different because the times are different too. Like the, like we said, the movies earlier and things like that. Everything's changed. So obviously maybe she won't have the same views. Maybe she will. But considering the fact that this book is popular and still praised now, is what's bringing up the red flags, right? Where it's to <laughs> you us. Wanna, yeah. You want to see something funny? What's up? Did you look it up? I looked her up because I was like, out of curiosity, has she written anything else? And in 2006, she released another book, and it's called Why Men Marry Bitches. So, <laughs> um, that's okay, awkward. Okay, that's 2006. It's still back in the days, you know? I feel okay, like... Okay, you're really giving benefit of the doubt here. I feel, like, yeah, nice. I feel like, to you're be fair... You're a nice girl, Phoebe. <laughs> To be fair, I don't I, I genuinely don't like how she wrote the book, right? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I, I, I wouldn't read this book, mm -hmm. things like that. If I did, I feel like I would just be angry and I would turn into like a Redditor or a Twitter person, which is bad. To me, that's the lowest of low that you could go, right? Because that's where all the shit talk banter goes, right? Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, it's not something I would read. But to be fair, I think that... um. The respect for, or, or, or no, awareness and more open-mindedness towards LGBTQ plus, you know, community is a lot more in the recent years. I feel like mm -hmm. people still weren't accepting of it as much in like 2010s. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's really like a newer thing at least. <laughs> Look at Why this, look at, look at this. I'm just out of curiosity. I'm like, am I the only one that hated this book? Like, I feel like I am. So I go on Goodreads and I search up the reviews. And a lot of people, you either love it or you hate it. It seems like that's the, that's the. So you either praise Andrew Tate or you hate how he sees the way things Yeah, but look at this review. Hate. This one, this review, okay, just resonates with me. Okay, look at this. She says this, Jessica Gardner, I'm going to call her out because I love this review. 
I'm going to read only the beginning, okay? okay? She says, I read this on the recommendation of a friend, and it was the worst book I have ever read in my life, which is really saying something because I read Fifty Shades of Grey. You liked Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm, unironically. I, okay, 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 okay. I was also like how old? I was in my Wattpad era, okay, in high school. So Doesn't obviously I liked it. You liked all books of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I did, but Fifty Shades of Grey is based off of what book? Twilight. And what was I most obsessed with my entire Twilight. life? Twilight. So of course it's not it's not a surprise I was obsessed with Fifty Shades of Grey. You know? But looking back, like I out of curiosity, I think I read it recently, like a year ago during the pandemic. That says a lot. I know guys. Was it good? It was shit. <laughs> But really? it was entertaining. I was like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. I already know what's going to happen next. But I'm like, wow, is she going to get fucked tonight or not? I can't tell. <laughs> tonight. Tonight. <laughs> you know? Okay. It's a shit book. It's like the Da Vinci Code type of shit. But also like so addictive. You start it and, you know, you're obsessed. But And then Jessica said she read Fifty Shades of Grey and that was the worst book. Um, before worst she book read this one. She said this Why Men Love Bitches yeah. is the worst book she read, and that says a lot because she read Fifty Shades of Grey, which is, which is obviously a very shit book. Like, it's written badly. It's ob- it's it's a fanfic. You're reading a fanfic. Okay. And- you know? But anyways, I thought this review was funny. I was like, ha, 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 that's me. I get that. Oh, that's it? Yeah. No, well, she has I other thought she was she, in a... She wrote, like, she popped off. Like, she has... Valid argument. Like seven paragraphs worth of stuff, and I just don't oh, want to read all of that. You know. I thought you were the reason why you were saying that is just you were gonna pop off on her paragraph and be like, no. and then she said this. No, no, no. And then I completely agree with that. That was it. You're just here to tell me that Jessica yeah. Gardner, Gardner hates hated this it. book. I want you to know. I almost accidentally closed Zencaster. <laughs> How terrible would that? I was trying I to flicker. Been alone. I, I was it trying to would have been flicker me through alone. my tabs. Exactly, I was trying to flicker through my tabs, and then I accidentally hit the <laughs> X for Zencaster. But luckily, it said, "Are you sure you want to leave the site? Oh, leave uh, something, whatever <laughs> might be unsaved." And so I had the option for leave or cancel. And I want you to know, I thought about it. I had to think. Dumb. I looked at it because I clicked the X on Zencaster, and I was like, "Oh, fuck." And the pop-up came, and I just see this big blue button and this big white button, and I'm like... I want to click the blue one. No, yeah, I was just there, and I was like, reading the thing, double, or like, double-checking just to make sure that I read that <laughs> right. Slowly hovering cancel, and I'm like, is that right? Because you're talking to me, and I go... And I was like, oh my lord. <laughs> we get to live another day without getting my ass beat. You know, if you just randomly left the call... That would have been a bitch's move, okay? That would have been. You remember we read the table, and women who drive are nice girls, but then women who leave calls and forget people's last names are bitches, and men are obsessed with them. So you would have been a bad bitch, but you ended up a nice girl. I think I am a bad bitch because I got the boyfriend, and most of the time when we finish recording, I just leave Zencaster and you're stuck alone oh to God. download the recordings. <laughs> oh my God. Her bestie. You know what's crazy too? Like I yeah. end up having to write all the description for the episodes, post everything on YouTube, which takes hours, post it on Spotify, do oh, all the work. What is, that? what is that? Sucks to be you. It's your podcast. I thought you were going to call me a nice girl. That's crazy. No. You didn't go I'm there. A You're such a bitch. I'm a bitch. You think I give you credit for anything? No. True. True. Let's just do better at life. Honestly, yeah. I'm clearly... Get money. Get men. I don't do the chasing. Men chase after me. And me, apparently. <laughs> no. You're single. Stop talking. <laughs> you know what? You're such a bitch. Don't say, say that. I'm gonna cry. That's not very really bitch of you. <laughs> I'm getting mixed uh. signals here. Are you a bitch or a nice girl? I can't tell. 
But yeah, anyways, like that's what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to tell everyone, don't read this book. It's a frustrating book. I hated every single page of it. Um, it's 300 pages long too. Like, do you really want to commit to 300 pages of garbage? You don't. <laughs> I say, if you want to read the book, read it, you know? But I just think, you know, you should pay attention to things we said today and maybe try to understand why we personally didn't like this book as much why it's quote-unquote like why it offends us at least right why it's a book we definitely didn't appreciate and don't support but mm -hmm. it's obviously you know if if that's your values if that book supports your opinion on things that's fine read it you know well you know out of curiosity if you actually agree with this book like put it in the comments yeah I, just say like, something maybe i'm missing so, something yeah maybe we just don't understand and it is, it's always going to be interesting to know why this book, you know, was is so uh, well loved. It was a bestseller. Yeah, like, because we don't loved understand it. it, but. Yeah. I love how you say we as if you read this. Like, as if I you didn't could read it. Work. Okay. I, I did not read it. However, from what I've heard, I don't like it. No way. That's crazy. I thought you I did. love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. From what I've heard, don't like it that much. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay if you do, but I would like to understand why. Yeah, we would love to hear it. Anything. Feel just, free to it, write it in the comments. And it's not to bash or anything. It's just like a, I yeah. don't understand. You know, maybe try to convince me. See if you can. Wow, that was such a bitchy ass thing to say. It's not she's a challenge. A, she's a oh my mind God. eater. It's not a challenge. Uh, it's just what is it? a comment. Uh, because maybe it'll be fun. You know, maybe it'll be a fun, like. Uh, what is it? Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> yeah, my brain. That was uh, you literally the, this entire hour. Like, you would say something, and then I'd be like, where are you going with this? And then you would just do. Why are you shit talking? True. You're giving a very bitchy attitude right now. True. Wow. I love that. Okay, well, anyways, like, um, it's getting late now, and I'm very tired, and I want some will to live because this book crushed it. Uh, good night, guys. Thanks for listening. And do you have any last comments, B? Um, goodbye, men, ladies, gays, theys. Have a nice one. Hit that bell on your way out. Oh, shit, no. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell on your way out. Don't forget to like, comment, and make sure to go follow us on Instagram at SucreSarPod. Oh, you remembered. Okay, bye besties. Bye bitches. Bye nice girls. And sorry, but I forgot about men. Goodbye.